Hey, how's it going? I was just going to show you um, what I did to fix your carburetor. This is the one that was leaking really bad, and I did this to all of them, but I'll just show you on the one that was broken what was wrong. Um, so this is the way your carb sits on your bike. Uh, this is your float bowl down here that fills with gas, and uh, once it's full, the gas should shut off, and I'll show you that how that works, but what was happening is that wasn't working on yours. So gas continued to fill up the bowl and was coming out the overflow. Um, so what you do is take off these four screws up here after you drain the bowl. And uh, it's a good idea to have something to put all your little parts in because um, they get lost easy. So, all right. Um, then your float bowl comes off. Set that to the side. It's a good idea to clean that out. And so I did in all of them. Um, and then uh, here's your the inside of your carburetor. These are your jets here that suck up the fuel. Um, so for cleaning, what you do is you just take off the jets and uh, inspect them. Make sure that all the passages are clear. There's a little bunch of little holes on the side of the jets. Let's see if my camera will focus. Uh, it's not really focusing. Come on. Well. Anyways, there's all these little holes on, on the side of the jets, and uh, as you can see here, much better. Um, you just want to make sure that all of them are clear, as you can see, including the main one. And uh, yours weren't too bad, but so I t took off this jet, and there's two jets, that one and this one. Same thing, a bunch of little holes on the side. Come on, focus. There we go. Cleaned out the holes, made sure the main part was cleaned out, and they were. Then I cleaned out with carb spray and uh, compressed air. I cleaned out these two holes here uh, that the jets were in. Um, like I said, gasoline enters. It comes in here, and it goes through a little valve here, which is connected to these floats. And uh, once the bowl, once your carburetor bowl gets filled with gas, um, the floats rise up and shut off the gas with that little valve. Right now, uh, it's, it thinks the bowls are completely empty, so the floats are the way, all the way down. As gas enters, these floats rise up, and uh, it, it, it works on this little valve here. Um, it's got a little hinge here, and um, the gas, all gas comes through here. And so, right now it thinks the carbs are all the way full that's what's simulating by having these down and so nothing should be able to come through here um, and with yours even though they were full gas is still coming in through it's a very common issue um, all you do is take off the floats by there's a little pin right here that they sit on so you just push it out with the screwdriver okay it's a little pin um, so no, it's not gonna focus um, and then your floats can just lift out um, so here's your actual floats with the little needle uh, valve so um, I cleaned this out in here, um, actually took this bolt off, there's a little screen, um, cleaned that out, made sure that the rubber was all good in there, um, and then the float itself just kind of sits on a little tab on the floats, and this is the valve, made sure that the rubber was in good shape, made sure that it all worked fine, and nine times out of ten, if your float, if your carb's leaking, it's because of this little valve, it, there's a little dirt in there or something that's uh, causing it not to move up and down freely and it gets stuck in one position and uh, will either allow too much gas in or won't allow any gas in and your bike will die. So, you know, visual, visually check these to make sure that the floats themselves don't have any holes in them or anything where they could be getting filled with gas. Uh, your floats seem to be fine. I think it was just this is dirty in here.
cleaned that all out and it works fine now. So that's kind of what I did. And then I just cleaned everything else out with carb spray and uh, I'm gonna reassemble everything and you should be in good shape. Uh, the reason why these get all gunked up is people don't clean out their carb bowls and their uh, carbs and gas stays in the jets and it stays in this little valve and everything and it gets gunked up and uh, you know, it gets old and then uh, the, the float valve will stick open or closed and it'll leak and it won't get enough gas or these holes will be filled up and it'll run crappy and that's that's why it's a good idea to clean them out and that's how you do this is you just spray everything spray it out with compressed air uh, you know visually make sure that everything works fine uh, one test you can do to make sure your float is working is this is where the gas comes in you can blow through here um, literally put your mouth up to it blow it blow in it tip the carbs upside down now the valve should be closed and you shouldn't be able to blow through it anymore and before when I first took the carb off um, I could just even if it was upside down like this I could continue to blow air in which meant that this valve wasn't working now that I've got it all working uh, it operates the way that it should so that's how uh, your carbs work